Hey guys, Zar here. Good morning to you. Hope all is well. Trust you're having a good morning so far. It is Tuesday, June 6th. This is the NASDAQ we're about to open here at uh, 928. Two minutes to the open. Here are the three sisters. NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow as usual. VWAP, volume weighted average price, two and a half standard deviations. That's a 9 and 21 EMA. I will be very patient here on the open, as always. Only looking for optimal setups. Using the three sisters as keys to synchronicity, divergence, relative strength, relative weakness, all those good things, alignment, misalignment, and so on and so forth. I will cut out dead air, sideways grinding action, non-teaching moments to keep this video nice and tight as always. We'll be waiting for this one minute open range to form on all three sisters and then uh, we will take it from there. There's the first candle we just opened here on New York. Been a fairly quiet overnight for the indices at the very least. Driving down on the Dow a little bit here, although we're still in the first minute for the next 15 seconds. move over to the power grid shall we it's the daily top left 30 minute chart bottom left and the one minute chart for now on the right hand side one minute open range is set there's the bottom and there's the top and now watch to see I'm going to delete this one zone marker there just a kind of a weakish zone from the uh, London session of course the London session is still open there's an overlap between the European sessions and the uh, New York or North America until about 11 o'clock or 11.30, depending on which European market you're referring to, Germany or London and so on. Driving down a little bit here now. Back to the three sisters. Dropping on the NASDAQ, dropping on the S&P, but above VWAP on the S&P here, this is no man's land, I like to call it. Um, kind of stuck between the open range and uh, VWAP. I don't put a whole lot of stock in VWAP at this point, given that the volume for the volume weighted average price has not included the big um, market open here on North American markets yet. But I certainly do take it into account. Won't be jumping into anything here, guys. Just watching, putting together a story. Patience, patience. Back to the grid. So we had a rally into the market open here. Why don't we take a look at a Fibonacci measurement here for that wave down. For those who are interested, I don't use the measurement tool myself very much, but uh, I can certainly see it after all these years within reason. Actually, usually fairly accurately. You just get used to it after a while. But the tool can be a useful thing, obviously. Dow pulling back up into the open range. As usual, S&P kind of sleeping here. And the NASDAQ firming up a little bit. But nothing to do. One of the big mistakes newer traders or even veteran traders here on the market open sometimes make is to jump in at the first sign of something happening right like dropping all of a sudden we might get one or two candles that are going down and then you know jump in short and uh, without anything else as part of the story in other words without for instance taking it into consideration the daily charts and this is the daily three sisters nasdaq s p and dow these are inside days right there's yesterday's span of travel high and low we're kind of in the middle here on the nasdaq we're dead center on the s p and just below center here of yesterday's candle on the dow right so three inside days inside day of course is by definition range bound right it's ranging inside of yesterday's high and low for now that can change very quickly or that can change very slowly dropping down now the nasdaq i'm not going to do anything here a little firmer on the Dow. So I'll put you on pause, guys. We'll let this play out for a while. 
and uh, I'll bring you back if anything develops here. And back to the three sisters, still nothing to do here. We got drop down here, as you can see, rejecting from VWAP on the NASDAQ, something similar on the S&P, and above open range and VWAP and the EMAs here on the Dow. So Dow a little stronger than the other two. Just grinding around sideways here, guys. Under some circumstances, I might be tempted to take a short here at this break of open range and then retest, but I'm not feeling it here. These are, the Dow is feeling quite firm. The uh, S&P is feeling firmish to neutral, wrapped around EMAs going sideways, very much a grind here, but um, very much a sideways grind here with the uh, Dow now pushing higher. Nothing to do here. Dow above, S&P in the middle, NASDAQ sleeping. So just waiting for some more direction here. If we're going to get any, guys, today's Tuesday. Anything's possible. Pushing up now on the S&P, but still in the open range. Pushing up on the NASDAQ. Back to the power grid. Looking at structure here on the 30 minute chart. You'll see there's not a whole lot of room to go here before tagging the zone from Asia. So not an incredibly strong zone. Then there is a very important zone right above that. When I say right above, I mean about 36 points or so, 33 points above. And so that's not the biggest range to play with in there, but it's uh, to be considered. This is not the cleanest configuration in my books. Again, we have an inside day on the daily range bound by definition. We have overhead resistance in through here, 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 and then of course the big one over here. This one was formed, of course, in the pre-market and on the open of New York yesterday. So we're back with the same participants playing again. All right, guys, it's 9.52 and there's news coming in eight minutes. It's medium news, so not high impact. I don't mind trading in and around medium news most of the time. Uh, but there's nothing to do here. This is just a sideways grind. There's that no man's land I often talk about between open range and uh, view up with the tightly bound EMAs and oscillating or vacillating around those. Uh, Dow off doing its own thing, as we often see uh, lately. But uh, I'm just going to keep my eyes on this. I'll probably wait till news now. We'll see. And so there's the news reaction, guys. Medium news. That's a pretty fairly big reaction, given that uh, it's a news that doesn't often cause a big reaction. My, my, this is relative size, right? This has been a very rangy. Uh, open. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ here. This range has been about 32 points. So yeah, it's not a big move at all. Back to the power grid. Nothing for me to do. And still nothing for me to do in this range here. Three sisters back into the open range for the NASDAQ, eh, just above on the S&P. Let's take a look at the S&P power grid, shall we, for structure. Nothing of interest here. We're just kind of ranging about. We got this mess over here from Asia, just waking about in an extended move. I certainly wouldn't be taking longs in through here, even though we're above the open range. It's just not enough for me. And we still have this inside candle with a bearish body on the daily. So this is very lackluster price action for me. It's 1019 guys. The grind continues. 
Dow remaining in a sequential wave uptrend, really not supporting anything here on the um, other two sisters. All right, guys, that's it for me. There's nothing going on in these charts. It's 1030, one hour left before the uh, twilight zone. And I see no opportunities here on the 30 minute chart. We would have to actually, for me, break out of this range in order for me to even see anything in terms of 30 minute reasons to enter. I think now I'm going to give it some time here, obviously uh, in the next hour to play out. Um, and then if there's an opportunity, I'll come on back and we'll record uh, whatever I do. But um, likely be looking at this thing again in the afternoon or just waiting for tomorrow. Quite frankly, I want to focus more and more on the first two hours of this regular trading uh, uh, session. And the first hour is now done for today. And no trades. It's been a while since I've had no trades in the first hour of the session, unless there's news or something like that. But um, have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.